Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to focus on how to draw excess demand. I'm going to focus on how to do it using the price mechanism, so simple shifts in demand and supply where we can demonstrate an excess demand. I'm not going to draw a maximum price, all right? that's a separate idea uh, to show excess demand. This is just going through the price mechanism. Right, how do we do it? Well first, we need to label our axis, price and quantity as we're used to doing that. Draw your equilibrium initially with demand and supply. I call this my six letter diagram. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six things on the diagram, basically your market. So start there. Right, the way to draw an excess demand through changes in the price mechanism is you've got two ways of doing it. One way is by shifting the demand curve to the right. So by shifting the demand curve to the right, so from D1 to D2, for whatever reason, what we see initially is at the same price, we have an excess demand. So price doesn't change immediately in an economic market. There is a process. Adam Smith's invisible hand gets to work, right? And um, initially an excess demand occurs, which is then rationed by providing a signal to producers to change the price, the incentive is to make more profit, right? The rationing, signaling and incentive function of the price mechanism gets to work because initially there is this excess demand. So what you could show is initially at P1, you can say, look, supply is at Q1, demand is at QD, and you have an excess demand here, all right? And that needs to be rationed. The way in which this is rationed is that eventually producers react to the signal that um, they're accused for that product or a large waiting list. Eventually they raise their price to P2 and they supply Q2, which takes you to the new equilibrium. But what you're trying to say is that initially there was this excess of that, which has now been rationed. Alright? So that's one way of doing it. So, do we fulfill what we have in our head when it comes to our checklist? We've done all of these things. We've labelled the axis, price and quantity. We've labelled our curves appropriately. We've labelled our equilibria. And we've shown and labelled the excess demand. So we've done everything we need to do. So by shifting demand to the right, initially at the same price, we have an excess demand. That's one way to do it. Another way to do this right is by shifting the supply curve to the left. Let's look at shifting supply to the left and also showing an excess demand. Start the same way, labeling the axis, price and quantity, draw the initial equilibrium with supply and demand. You see my technique, labeling always as we go along. Alright, simple stuff. Now shift supply to the left from S1 to S2 for whatever reason. Right, what do we have? Well, at the same price, where is supply? Well, new supply is over here, you might want to call that QS. Right? And demand remains at Q1. So what we have here is an excess demand. If you want to shade in the triangle, shade it in and label that excess demand. Then Adam Smith's invisible hand gets to work and rations this excess demand by providing a signal to producers um, which lets them know that they can raise their price and make more profit. And eventually that will lead to a higher price of P2 and a lower quantity of Q2 compared to Q1, okay? And that will rush in the excess demand. But what you've shown there is the excess demand in the first place. Have we labeled our axis? Yep. Have we labeled all of our curves? Yep. Have we labeled our equilibria? Yes. Have we labeled and made clear the excess demand? Yes, we have. This might seem pedantic, but you've got to do it. It's so easy to make a mistake here. You've got to keep this checklist in your head. All right, so two ways of showing excess demand. And remember that maximum price is a separate concept. This is how excess demand may occur through the price mechanism and then rectified through the price mechanism, either by demand shifting to the right or supply shifting to the left. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.